Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today is gonna be a different kind of video because I posted a photo, yes, saying that this is the last time you're ever gonna see this iconic blue room as I am moving. One of the more popular comments was, make sure you pan out the tailings in your vacuum cleaner. I thought this was a great idea. I don't think I've ever vacuumed around this area for that exact same reason. So without further ado, let's see how much gold I've dropped over the last couple years. Gold, even on the table. Oh, drop something on the floor. This video is not sponsored by Rigid. Oh, backwards. This is definitely more boring than being at an actual river. This river sucks. Oh, yeah, that helps. Okay, so before I begin, I thought I would just use my sweet little phone light. Check out that wallpaper. I'm Dan's helper. And look around to see if I can't see any pieces I could pick up before I vacuum. And I did find a piece right there. Yeah, right there in the center of the screen. And then another little guy by the rust over here. So this is the piece that I found first, but the other piece I actually lost. So we'll hopefully find that in the vacuum. But what I'm learning now is that the more I touch the carpet, the more the gold is dropping. So I'm not gonna touch that no more. I'm just gonna get straight to dredging. This is the wrong way. Okay, so just having a quick break. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. I spotted two pieces of gold already. It was about a four ounce nugget. That's almost embarrassing. But yeah, we have, uh, there is gold in them carpets. So I've just unlocked a new attachment. Not sure how well it'll work, but we'll give it a go. Ugh. So that took a little longer than I thought, but I'm very happy I finally got it all done. The room looks immaculate. I'm hoping to find at least 10 ounces of gold. Hopefully not, but check it out. Look how clean it is. It's too clean. <laughs> I think it's time we make our way outside and pan out this cute little vacuum to see what kind of materials and hazardous stuff we may have found in this carpet. But first, if you feel like supporting this channel and want to rock some Pioneer Poly merchandise, I finally have a store open now in the link below at pioneerpoly.com. All right, so we have our bin of water, our vacuum, a cute little leaf, and of course, a little gold pan. This gold pan might be too small, but I don't imagine there's a lot of material in that vacuum. We'll see. Now I am expecting to find at least a little bit of gold in here. Not a lot, I mean, nothing worth weighing, but again, this is, this is just for fun. So I have removed the filter and also included the hose in here because I realized the hose has riffles and that's bad, or I mean, it's good for trapping gold, but it's bad in this case. So I'm gonna have to rinse both these things out really well. I don't know if you can notice or not, but my eyes are really red. It's not what you think at all. It's uh, allergies. That's why I'm gonna put on a mask. Also, COVID safe. Uh, I gotta be careful, because I don't wanna spill this on the grass. So let's do this. Um, this is difficult to do without a camera guy. I've lost all skills. Yeah, that's disgusting. Oh, look at that. Right away, I see some ocean picture stone right there. I've never panned for ocean picture stone. Okay, I did see a little piece of gold. This is gross. I wonder why there's so much rust in my pan right now. 
I can see some other chunks of metal in here. Probably pieces of wire and whatever. Oh look, I found lead too. Ha! That's funny. Lots of garbage in here. All right. This is gonna be very difficult to pan right down because there is a lot of heavy material in here, including lead, iron, and uh, miscellaneous pieces of wire. But I do see some gold in there, which is actually kind of funny. Okay, let's see if I can wash back iron and lead. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I knew there'd be gold in there. That's actually a little bit more than I was expecting. So there you have it, Polly's Carpet Gold. We can't forget about this little guy that I spotted with my eyes. I'm actually really surprised I actually saw that. Sorry. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly dry this gold, bring out the scale, weigh the gold, then weigh how much we lost, I refound. Yeah. Okay, moment of tooth. Let's see how much gold I've dropped. Four ounces. 0.12 grams. Okay. It's one three. Now the ocean picture stone. 0.31. Nice. So there you have it. A little bit more gold and ocean picture stone to add to the candy jars. Now if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the near future, especially after I finish moving in here. So if you want to keep updated on extra content and see what's going on, you can follow me on my other social media stuff and also my new website, pinerpolly.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. This river sucks.